Hi, in this video, I'm going to explain how to make a payment application for contractor and what is the difference between payment application and payment certificate starting right now. So starting with the difference between payment application and payment certificate, let's assume that you are a contractor and you have one job or one project and the project value, for example, is 100,000 and the duration of the job is, let's say, five months. So the thing is that you will not get the 100,000 in the first day or in the first month. There will be some payments that you will do, you will prepare and you will submit for approval. And this will be based on the percentage of work done this month, you will get paid. So when you submit or when you claim for some amount or for the works that you have executed this month, the application that you submit is called a payment application. So basically you go and you calculate the percentage or the worth of the works that you have executed this month and you submit that to the project consultant and the project client and they certify or they look into what you have submitted and if they agree with the percentage of work that you are claiming or in other words if they agree with the amount that you are claiming they will certify this amount and they will issue you a payment certificate and then you get paid accordingly as per the terms of payment in that particular project so this is the difference between the application and the certificate the application is the claim the percentage the calculation that you show them why do you deserve let's say 30,000 or 20,000 or whatever amount this month this is your application and they will look into your application and they will certify whatever amount that they see fit or they see correct. And of course, there will be some mutual discussions between you and the project consultant to agree on the percentage of work done and then they will issue you the payment certificate. So this is the difference between the application and certificate. So now let me show you here on the screen how to prepare a payment application, the application that you will prepare in order to submit to the project consultant. So in order to do that, we need to understand our project first and we need to have a look at the BOQ so that I can show you how to prepare the payment application. And this BOQ I have prepared just for the purpose of this video. And let's assume that the project or the works that you need to do are just concrete works. And our BOQ consists of two main, uh, let's say, subsections. One is substructure and one is superstructure. So under the substructure, we have the concrete casting and we have the steel reinforcement and we have the form work for various substructure items. So as we can see, the concrete casting is measured in cubic meter for these items. This is the quantity rate amount. And for the steel reinforcement, again, for the various substructure items, the quantity is measured in kilograms. This is the quantity rate amount. And the form work is measured in square meters for the same items, quantity, rate, amount. For the superstructure, we have again concrete casting and steel reinforcement and form work for columns, beams, slabs, parapet. So these are the four items that we have in the superstructure. And again, concrete casting is in cubic meter, steel reinforcement in kilogram and form work in square meters. So this is our BOQ and the total value of this project is 75,600. 50 dirhams let's say this is the currency that we are using here on this video so this is our project and this is our boq now let's have a look on the payment application form how do we prepare the payment application so what do we do we just have our normal boq the one that i just showed you right now which is starting from column b here up to column g so we have the item description unit quantity rate amount our normal boq we will just Put it like that and beside our boq we will create six more columns these six columns so three of these columns will be percentage of work done and the other three columns will be the amount of work done and what is the meaning of that this is what i am going to be explaining now but let's start with creating these six columns and the first three columns will be percentage and the second three columns will be amount so these three columns you have to make sure that it is percentage here okay so this is a percentage and these three columns are just numbers or currency because we will have amounts here so the first item that we have let's take an example plain cement concrete measured in cubic meters quantity is 2 rate is 350 and the amount is 700 usually when we are making a payment application we are always working on the total and what is the meaning of that up to today let's say that we are at the end of month number one what is the percentage of pcc has been completed 
if this percentage is 100% completed, so you have completed this item fully, you have done all the PCC in the project, then the percentage that you will put here will be 100, okay? The previous is last month, how much was the percentage of this item? So let's say that I did the PCC, we are now in the first month, and previously I didn't do anything because this is the first month of work. So by the end of the first month, let's assume that this item total percentage or total work done from this item is 100%. So I'll put 100% here. And the previous is the previous percentage, the percentage as per the last month. So in that case, we are just at the end of the first month. So the percentage of this item last month is zero because I didn't do anything before. So this month, previously, the percentage was zero. And today at the time of the evaluation, the percentage is so this is the previous and this is the total. This is the total work done until this moment. And this is the percentage of work done as per the previous application or as per the previous month. And the current is what you have done this month itself, which will be equal to the total minus the previous. So the current is always equal to the total minus the previous. So we have the previous work done, which is a percentage and we have the total work done which is a percentage and when you say total work done minus the previous work done it gives you the current work done which is the work that has been done this month okay so we have these three percentages here for all the items as you can see now coming to these three columns which are amount column so again in our example when we say that the total work done this month for this item which is the pcc is 100% and the previous is zero. So the current is 100 minus zero, which will give 100. So the work that has been executed in this month for the PCC is 100%. 100% of what from the value of this item? The value of this item as per BOQ is 700 because the quantity is two and the rate is 350. So when this multiplied by this, it gives the amount. So how do we pay the 700? It depends on what is the percentage of work done previously and what is the percentage of total work done and what is the percentage of the current work done. If I have completed this item in this month, so that means that the total is 100 and the previous is zero. That means that the current is 100% also. So all you have to do, you multiply the previous percentage by the amount, it gives you the previous amount. And you multiply the current percentage by the amount, it gives you the current amount. And you multiply the total percentage by the amount, it gives you the total amount. So basically, these three columns are the multiplication of these three columns by the amount column. So we will be working on the percentages and these three percentages will be multiplied by the amount. It will give us these three amounts, which is the total amount and the previous amount and the current amount. And we will do that, the same thing, for all the BOQ items as we can see here, okay? So once you have done that, if you take submission here in these three columns, the amount columns, when you take the submission, when you take this submission, it will tell you like previously, what is the worth of works that you have done in amount? It will be in currency. This is amount. So if the total project is 75,650, how much you have done? And the total that you have done so far is how much? And the current or the amount that you deserve for the works that you have executed this month is how much? So all you have to do here in these three cells is to just take a submission. When you take submission like that, you get the previous amount and the current amount and the total amount when you go divide these three numbers by the total here by the total amount of the project you get these three percentages because the total percentage of work done will be different from one item to another so it doesn't make sense to take a submission here as we have done in these three cells so how do we get the percentage of the previous work done and the percentage of the current work done and the percentage of the total work done you get that by taking the submission here, you get these three numbers and you divide them by the total amount, you get these three percentages. So what you are going to do now, you click on this video and the monthly payment applications, I'll be doing them in that video. So thank you so much for watching and see you there.